what is up you guys Razor here and I'm gonna be doing my advanced movement tutorial and basically showing you guys a little bit of tips and tricks more towards the newer players but you can probably learn something even if you are intermediate or maybe even advanced so let's get right into it the first thing I want to talk about is bunny hopping the most simplest thing in the tutorial so basically if you run and you press the jump button it takes a while before, even if you're spamming it, it takes a while to actually jump. So if you jump, and then stop pushing on your forward stick or your W key, it'll let you jump as many times as you want. And then if you sway, you can get way more distance if you sway left and right. But if you just hold the uh, W key or the forward stick, there is a jump delay. And you can be heard. This is a super important demo. So you can go around objectives and not be heard. Just basically bunny hop your way around. So now you want to implement your strafe into your gameplay. It's not just about uh, crouch spamming. It's about shoulder swaps. Uh, rolls are really helpful too when you're... Like, look at the amount of movement that you get when you're sh swapping shoulders and you're doing anything else. The amount of movement you get is actually pretty critical. If you're the last one alive and you're running away, you actually get a lot of movement out of it. And you can turn way faster. So if you're turning backwards, shop, swapping your shoulder feels a lot quicker than just... Even if you're on a high sensitivity, swapping shoulders feels a lot smoother than just turning all the way around. Because you have to turn like this, compared to that, it's just a lot easier. If you wait just before the time it takes to uh, reload your weapon and roll, you can actually reload your weapon a tiny bit faster than what it actually says it takes. As you saw right there, this can save you a millisecond of time, and it might just win you a fight. Maybe another obvious tip to veteran players, but... If you hold the aim button, you don't have to peek whatsoever, and you can see exactly where your C4 is going to go instead of risking it and uh, holding the shoot button Please and then throwing it. You don't have to peek whatsoever. And that's how some of these sneaky anvils get these perfect C4s off without peeking once every single time. Please allow. So when you're taking a corner, you want to take a lot of notice into how much your hitbox moves up when you ADS. So, say you're taking a fight like this, you get beamed or whatever. You'll win a lot of fights that you shouldn't win just by AD not ADSing, sorry. Because you're super low and they won't expect it. If you just keep challenging them like this, whatever, and they just randomly come out like that while they're pushing you, they won't expect it. You shouldn't always do this. This is just for uh, mixing up your combat. You don't always want to be challenging somebody the same way. Another thing to keep in mind is the faster your ADS on your gun is, the faster you can take peak shots. So, with the LMG, it's not that quick. But with the uh, Deagle, you can do some crazy stuff with it. I know that's exaggerated, but look how fast you can go in and out of cover compared to the LMG. So, I think that's a really important tip. You might n know this, but never have really put your mind to it because it happens so fast in-game. But say you're super low and you want to C4 or someone over the cover, you got to be aware that when you pull out C4, you always bounce up a little bit. So, if, for example, if the guy knows exactly where you roll to and you're super low, like 10 HP, and you do that, for example, it does it a little less if you push your stick against it. But if you don't push anything against the uh, cover, it just literally stands right up. It's so dumb. So if you push up against it a little bit, it just helps so much. And another, a better tactic is to press X or whatever you do to pull out your gadget and roll. X tip is pretty simple, but you might not be aware. So if you're sprinting and you want, you can press circle or whatever you need to press to crouch while you're rolling so say you're getting shot at by this anvil over here while you're running and you want to come to immediate stop you don't have to peek up and then crouch out of your rolling for example like this you don't have to go like this 
is that even just PG for a millisecond can get you shot in this game. Make sure you press the crouch. And see how I stood up there? Be aware if you have auto sprint on. If you push too hard forward, you'll just immediately start sprinting again out of your roll. So, be wary of that. See how I did it again? You gotta make sure you gotta stop pushing. If you learned something new, make sure you hit that like button and that sub button if you haven't already. And make sure you use code RAZORYT if you plan on buying any Control Freak products. I'm always using my Control Freaks and my performance grips whenever I'm playing Rogue Company. I make a video and stream every day on YouTube, so make sure you tune in. Hit that noti bell for all posts so you don't miss them. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm out. Peace. Deploying utility. <laughs> Utility out! Oh my god, that's so cheap for those! Need help! Oh, mid connector, mid connector. Everybody there? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't even tell. Attention. 